Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara's busy. And this is the Rake P135. Now, I've tried a bunch of Rake knives out. I actually like Rake. I like the Rake P801, the 108. Um, we tried a titanium model out. So I wanted to try this one out. These are budget knives, these versions. You know, this is the steel one in 14C28N. I thought their 14C28N was really good. I thought they did a really good job on it. And this is one I never tried. So I did buy this to try it and check it out. Uh, I know it's been out for a little while. This is a first impressions, but, you know, I, I got to say I like I love it and hate it at the same time. Let me explain. Before we get into this knife completely, I want to talk about this Benchmade 940. I did get some titanium scales for it, or Kara got them for me, and I like them. I do love them. They feel really good in the hand, and it's still very light, but there are some problems. Uh, one, they sent their own hardware, so I couldn't use my old hardware. I couldn't use my blue standoffs. Then they didn't send me a pivot, so they sent me all these screws with no pivot. Then these two screws are titanium, the rest are steel. That makes no sense. And since they didn't send me a pivot, it's got I can feel the pivot moving when I when I hold the pivot right here, I can feel the screws kind of moving a little bit. Um the action is amazing. I mean, there's no lock rock at all. I mean, it's rock solid that way. But there's a little bit of play side to side, and I can feel the screws moving a little bit. Even if I tighten this down as tight as it can be, there's still a little play because there's play in the pivot. So I don't know why they just didn't send a new pivot too that would fit these scales a little bit better since they sent all this other hardware that the only way I could make it work was with their hardware, which I understand. I'm not complaining about that. It's just why wouldn't you send the pivot as well? or make these to fit my old hardware one of the two anyways these are from flytanium i do like their titanium scales i have other titanium scales from them i have other scales from them i have uh, my card scales from them um g10 scales from them but anyways the action is still really amazing um I i'm gonna leave them on for right now and possibly just try to find a pivot Maybe some new hardware from Flytanium. Maybe talk to them. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Let's get into this rake. I do like it. Okay. I think it's a good knife and I think it's a great knife. If you have one of these, then I think you have a damn good knife. But like just a couple little details. So like my P801, right? Had an amazing detent. The detent was fantastic on it. I love that knife. That's actually one of my most recommended uh, budget knives. You know, it's got it's it was just great around the board and it looks good too. It's a good looking knife. This is also a good looking knife, but the detent is uh, on the weaker side. So, you know, yes, you can push button it and light switch it, and I can get it every time. You know, once you got it down, like you're not gonna fail it. So it's not a knife you're gonna fail in any way, especially once you're used to it. The centering was good. Um, it did come with a little bit of play. I locked it up, though, but no lock rock. Very solid knife. Um, the ergos are really good. It looks like it has a decent sharpening choil. The blade shape is really good. The geometry could be better, but it, it seems like a geometry that would cut pretty good. So it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, the weight is really good. They definitely milled all the scales out. So for steel you know, scales, it, if, you know, it's got some weight, but it's not really bad. Lock bar access is pretty good. Um, I, I kind of wish they would have jumped around the flipper tab because I would have a little bit more grip to, to spring it out. Now it's a comfortable flipper tab. Don't get me wrong. And since they notched it out the way they did, you can push button it and light switch it. But I don't know, you know, obviously this is not a review. This is just first impressions. So don't think that this is what I think about this knife yet. I haven't used it. I haven't cut with it. I haven't sharpened it. I haven't taken it apart and oiled it and all that stuff. Um, this is just fresh out of the box. Um, these um, uh, locks right here, that's for you to 
click it and then it won't unlock. So if, say, if you were going to hard use this thing and you were worried about your lock failing, you would put that on. It's called a beta lock because it's for betas. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like for a knife like this, if you're ever threatened to that extent that you need that lock, it's probably not. You probably shouldn't be doing it with that knife. Now, there's lots of knives. I mean, this is locked up solid, and I don't have no doubt that this thing wouldn't handle just about anything you throw at it. But the beta lock, you know, I guess this is better than the other one I've seen on it seen it on i seen the beta lock they put on a really like to me was more of a jet knife and it was like what would you be doing with that knife to need that lock this one makes a little bit more sense because it's a little bit more harder use but i don't know um let's do let's let me show you the size comparison so you understand like how big it is it's not really big or anything but it's not a small knife either Sorry, the light's reflecting. Here is the Spyderco Manix 2. And you can see it's a little bit longer than that. So here is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, which you can see is another good size comparison. But it's still a little tiny bit bigger than it. So, you know, it is a full-size knife with steel frame lock. You know, it's built strong. So I kind of understand the beta lock a little bit. It's got... Mm, it's got um screws only on one side and they look like t6s um the clip is a deep carry clip i know these clips work good because i used it on the other rake i don't know um i think it's mostly the action that kind of uh makes me in the lock bar tension it feels like a weak lock bar nice and easy to get to I just, I kind of, maybe if the lock bar was a little bit stronger, maybe if I squeeze it, let me squeeze it. Uh, I don't know. Um, the action, I just feel like could be a little bit better because man, Rake's action was so good on them. Other knives I tried, I mean, they were really good, but the Ergos, the jimping right here feels good. It feels like a solid knife. I mean, like I said, if you own this knife, I could see why you like it. If you do like it. It's a badass knife, and I think this is a knife that's going to grow on me a little bit, possibly. It's either going to grow good or bad, one of the two. <laughs> um, there's definitely not going to be an in-between, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I guess watch for the review. I do have a lot of reviews coming. I have a lot of knives in for review, so I'm going to be pumping them out and be watching because I, I'm going to have a collection video coming up soon and some top tens and i got some really good sharpening videos coming up soon i got some sharpening videos i think you guys are gonna love i hope you guys watch it and yeah let's get it peace